Welcome to Stitching with Cindy Botts. Let me show you my newest creation. This is a foam pouch for Halloween. And what's different about this foam pouch is that I decided to put a pocket on the back that has a vertical, a vertical zipper. And that is different for me. Normally my zippers go across my bags, but after watching a video by Minky Kim, I saw one of her pouches had this vertical zipper. So check her out. Again, it's Minky Kim. She has her own YouTube channel and a lot of different um, projects. The project that inspired this bag um, was a tutorial where she made a crossbody bag and she quilted the material and made this an, an invisible zipper. It's a little different way to structure your bag. So you might want to check that out. Now for this bag, this is simply a zipper pouch with a long handle on it. Okay. So technically, if you can do a zipper pouch, you can do this. And I have all the faith in you. Um, zipper pouches are very quick projects. And so is this. So let's talk about zipper pouches. So zipper pouches can be lined or unlined. I like to make mine lined. All right. And to do that, you take two squares of material with right sides together. Well, you need four squares, four, um, two for the outside and two for the inside. So you take your squares and with right sides together, you put the zipper sandwiched in the middle. Okay. Let's see here. I got this flipped around. There it goes. I was going to say from it there, I thought I was missing a whole square. Okay. So here's the um, zipper tab, the zipper pull. You want that to be um, on the side that you want to be the outside fabric of your bag. So you want to make sure that when you sandwich it, that that is where you want it. Okay. So you just sandwich that sandwich, that zipper in, stitch down and fold back and do your top stitching, which is what I have done on this side. All right. So you can see I've sewn the zipper into that sandwich and then you fold it back and you top stitch it. Let me, oh, I got to do a lot of flipping here. So then you would just top stitch it back. Okay. And then for this little demonstration, I have one fabric here and a different fabric here just to show that you can do variations on it. It doesn't need to be the same. Okay. And then all you do is you sew um the two front side the two outsides together going around zoop, and then you put the two insides the lining together and you sew down leaving that hole for turning go up and around and turn it and that's your zipper pouch okay now when you go to make your zipper pouch into a crossbody bag or a wristlet, before you sew the side seams, you're going to want to add your straps. Okay, so let's flip this over here so you can see. All right, so here is what it would look like. All right, so we just got to imagine that that side is sewn down. This is the outside of the bag. Here is our zipper pull way over here. Um, you're going to want to slide that in and sew that down. Now remember, don't sew that down that closed unless your zipper pull, pull is in the middle. Okay. So you just sew that down and trim that off. Sew down here and trim that off. Um, make sure you do back back stitching a few times because that's going to take a little bit of wear okay so making sure that pull is where you want it then I would lay my straps on at this point um, I lay my straps down and then I fold them over all right so if this was my strap piece remember you go to the center then you quarter it fold that in and press it fold that in and press it then you fold it over so your um, four inch piece of material becomes one inch wide all right then i would sew that down 
sew it down and then by folding it up and over onto itself and sewing again you encase those raw edges all right so that's how i would put um, either a wristlet handle on or a neck strap you can also put your wristless wristlet strap over at the side fold it over so that both ends are caught here at the side all right so you just make your strap and then sew it here at the side when you fold them over it gets um, encased in that side seam all right and that's just a quick overview i know i've talked about um pockets pouches before so for this particular bag what i did was i started with a seven by um a seven inch wide um seven inch wide piece of fabric all right and then i made it longer than my phone i believe this was nine inches all right so you need four pieces um you need a front a back and two lining now the way i did the outside um pocket is again i made a um i just made a second a second zipper pouch okay and as you can see here I did not um, I folded it over I did not encase those seams okay so it's just a zipper pouch all right and when I had the tube instead of having this at the top I just rolled my tube over a little bit more flattened it out and sewed it down okay so this is a non-line zipper pouch and if you turn it sideways here is your pocket okay so again you're really just making a second um, zipper pouch and I put a piece of fabric at the top so that when I fold sewed it into my zipper um, the other zipper wasn't in my way. All right, so I just took a piece of material. It was two inches wide, folded it over, and sewed it across the top. Then I just sewed that back. All right, and the zipper pull, remember, needs to be down in the middle. Okay, and now this pocket actually becomes the back of your bag. Okay, so that replaces the back of your bag okay all right so that is your bag all right just put it together so remember you're cutting um two back pieces a front piece and two lining pieces all the same size so you're technically making um you need an extra back piece because you have a piece here for the back and a piece here. Now, if you want to use um, interfacing, you would put the interfacing here um, when you're sewing your squares to your zipper. Okay. I didn't use interfacing this time. I think it's fine. Um, it's just a real simple pouch. I don't think it needs interfacing. If you want to use interfacing, by all means, go ahead. Um, so for this project you're going to need four inch wide strip with the material and then just trim it down to where it hits you um, appropriately when this is used as the next strap then you're going to need a front piece mine was seven inches by nine i believe but you're going to want to make it three to four inches wider than your phone and like two inches at least um, longer okay you need a front piece you'll need a front lining you'll need a back lining and then you'll need two back pieces for this pocket pouch all right and then you'll need a little strip for this piece here just to make it easier so when you're sewing this as the front panel 
you don't have to worry about this will be folded up you'll actually be sewing on this edge and you won't be sewing this zipper to the zipper it just gives you that little bit extra room and you can see here how that is okay this is the um, space that I was talking about and then my other zipper is up you know half an inch or so up so that it's not being hit by this all right so two zippers and voila I hope you enjoy making this project please like and subscribe for my channel if you'd like to leave a comment that'd be great too have a great night bye bye